They say one day you leave this world behind So live a life you will remember My father told me when I was just a child These are the nights that never die Today, we are at the Puritan Memorial Park Cemetery here in Peabody, Massachusetts, and we are visiting the grave of Herb Reed. Herb Reed, if you don't know who he is, was the creator of the platters. He founded that folk group and named it after a slang term used by radio DJs for vinyl records of the day. And the Platters was very famous, one of the top R&B groups of the 1950s. They had several different changes in members throughout the years of the group, but they were originally founded in 1955, that year that they signed with Mercury Records and scored their first hit, Only You. Only You. You definitely have heard their music on the radio and in the movies and on television. A couple of the bigger songs besides that one are The Great Pretender, Twilight Time, and Smoke Gets in Your Eyes, one of my absolute favorites. Oh my gosh, it sends me to the stars every time I hear it. Thank Anyway, as I mentioned, they had various members come and go, but Herb Reed was the baritone, deep, deep, deep voice of that group. He's actually the only member of the Platters to sing on all 400 of their recordings. He was born on August 7, 1928 in Kansas City, Missouri. And his family was very poor. His parents died before he was a teenager, so he lived with relatives and then he was singing in church until he was about 15, and that's when he drove with a friend to Los Angeles. There he washed cars and started harmonizing with fellow street singers, and in his early 20s, the Platters was born. So yeah, he had a very successful career to say the least, and in the 1970s, he moved here to Massachusetts. Herb Reed the Platters founder and naming member. The last surviving member of the five original members when they signed with Mercury Records. Heavenly shades of night are falling. It's twilight time. He died June 4th in a hospice house in 2012 in Boston. He was 83 years old, sang and toured right up to about a year before his death. He loved being around people. He loved the excitement of being on stage. He wasn't fond of contemporary music, though. He said, you can't have fun with today's music. Today's music, hip-hop and rap, you can't keep time with it. I don't understand it at all, but everyone can sing a little doo-wop. Rest in peace to Herb Reed. We should all be so lucky to live into our 80s. Imagine all the wonders he had seen. The 30s, the 40s, 50s, to the 2000s. Okay, you all, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one. God bless.